I'm going to give you seven reasons to use Google Search Console for SEO and organic performance because it still blows my mind that some brands don't use it. I get brands reaching out to me that's been working with agencies and they still have no idea what Google Search Console is, but they understand what Hrefs is and SEMrush, which blows my mind. But that's another um, chat. So the reason you want to be using Search Console, I'm going to give you seven reasons. Number one for me, so I'm looking at data and obviously performance report is is the big one. Google Search Console is the mothership of your data in Google. It's how your website is performing for search. It's what pages are showing for what queries. It shows you which pages are decaying, which are growing in queries and impressions. So obviously the performance report is the huge one. Um, global data, you can see how your website is performing in different countries, how it's performing in the US, in the UK, Italy, Germany, etc. Where, you, where you're growing across the globe, um, which parts of your subfolders are decaying. So global performance is another huge um, performance indicator that you need to be watching. Um, problem auditing as well is my third one. Problem auditing, so Google Search Console now shows you so much data, you can look at what pages, uh, you know, you can look at rendering issues, you can look at um, what pages are dropping off a cliff, you can look at how your crawl stats, you can look at what pages Google is visiting, how frequently. You can find so much data within Search Console that can help you build an audit to improve your chances of ranking and improve how Google um, crawls your website. Overall, so you know, use it to audit. Don't use just third-party metric audit tools. Actually, use Google data. They give us so much. Okay, the fourth one for me is definitely improving content. You can, you know, you can see when you just export your data to Google Sheets, uh, use analytics for Sheets, and look which pages are decaying and which pages are climbing higher in search because. We have to understand how Google is segmenting our website, you know, what we are um, an authority in. If we talk about different subjects, we need to know what subjects are growing with search and which ones are dropping off a cliff. Um, so number five, um, just data exporting is huge and it's something that as an SEO agency, when I've been in agencies, it, it's hard to build bill exporting a brand's data and then go on spending hours and hours going through that data but to get maximum results with seo and to improve profits you have to spend time yeah it's, it's boring as shit but you have to go and spend time looking at your data and spending time on on that data um, because that's you know that that's what's going to give you opportunities that's what's going to find problems and deep diving into your data is something that you can just automate and get away from we have to spend that time unfortunately um, so exporting your data you know you can use BigQuery depending if it's an enterprise website you can use analytics for sheets um, for a smaller site and then for real small sites you can just do a straight export um, another one for me is just sharing feedback you know you can just export that data do an audit of Google share it with a brand um, and help them understand the data help them make better marketing decisions for SEO organic search and just, you know, help them, help them understand like, how their website is performing in search and, you know, how it's not performing. You, you, you can see so many problems within uh, Google Search Console and you can see opportunities as well. And that's what we're looking for at the end of the day. Number seven is building a roadmap. So, you know, brands, and SEO teams, marketing teams, I like to use SEMrush, obviously great tools, HRS, but you know, we need to build a roadmap of when we look at what pages are decaying, what pages we need to update, what issues we're having. From that, we can build a one month, three month, six month plan roadmap on what a top priority. Always use the 8 to 20 model where we look at, you know, what what segment of the site is bringing in 80% of the revenue? As we know, it's probably 10, 90, um, you know, 10% of a website will bring in 90% of the revenue. And that's not um, something, you know, that's that's across most websites. It's not all the website brings you revenue. Um, you just top performing pages. So it's, it's building a roadmap from that, um, even just bringing in traffic, you know, and building on top of that. So that's my seven reasons for using Google Search Console. 
don't ignore this data. It's an absolute gold mine, and it, it's upsetting to see that brands don't use it. That they, they're reliant on SEMrush and HREF for for data. It's it's madness. Just dig in. It's not quick. It's not sexy, but you know that that's where that's where the gold lies for me. It's a gold mine. So enjoy. Any questions? Leave them in the comments.